What is up YouTube and welcome to this this Legends of Tomorrow video. So if you are new to the channel, please do consider leaving a like and a subscribe down below if you did enjoy the video. So Legends of Tomorrow has finally given us a look at the evil Marlus played by John Noble who actually featured as himself in this episode. So this episode featured, it, it went around quite a bit. We had Barack Obama, we had Gorilla Grodd, we had old man or old lady Amaya uh, or Vixen and we also had a giant demon appear and a John Noble played by himself. So it starts off with Barack Obama being attacked by Gorilla Grodd, which is just absolutely strange. Now, I certainly feel that this would have been a better cameo if they fleshed out the Barack Obama idea, if they made it so he never actually became a politician or he never even decided to study law which is just really, really weird. And they really could have done something with this episode. They could have done a lot more with it, a lot more political, a lot made a bit of a more of a statement as opposed to just have Barack Obama in the episode for zero reason apart from for Sarah Lance to actually talk to her. So it was just weird that Barack Obama is actually in this episode. And it just feels really, really tacked on. And while I did enjoy this episode... The whole episode just felt a bit messy and all over the place and just felt really odd. And to be honest, so far this season hasn't really felt, or at least the last couple of episodes, haven't felt like that they are coming towards a close here for the season. And next season, next episode, sorry, is actually the finale. But we're getting another season. It's been renewed for season four, so that's pretty cool as well. But Gorilla Grodd has felt kind of superfluous to the entire show so far. He's an agent of malice. But really, why? Why is he even here? It just feels really odd. He hasn't felt connected to the Damien Dark, Nora and Kuasa group who were actually involved in getting malice back. And it never actually worked. It just felt really odd that Gorilla Grodd is actually involved. So the fact that Gorilla Grodd was in this, it just felt completely strange. But he was in the sort of the Vietnam episode. So there is that. Now, Gorilla Grodd was, well, at least used by Damien Dark to destroy the Zambezi or the, the Amaya sort of place, the, the village that she grew up in. And it was just really, really odd that they chose Gorilla Grodd. Um, sorry, that rhymed. I didn't mean that to rhyme. But time is all being changed. And Amaya and Nate were involved with some sort of vixen point, as I'm going to call it here. As back in 1992, they needed to change things and protect the village. But that never actually turned out to work very well whatsoever. Because Gorilla Grodd still came coming in. Now, I did enjoy it. I found it funny when Gorilla Grodd was actually kept in that jar thing. Which was really, really funny. And it feels like this kind of... This is the unofficial sort of vixen season. Which is really, really strange. So the whole totems have actually been involved. And all the totems have been very sort of tied to Amaya and Zambezi and the rest of the Vixen lineage. But I'm not so sure if it's felt that congealed. The storytelling hasn't really been that strong. It's been an enjoyable season. It's just the fact that we never really felt much cohesion in the story. And in this story, we have really not had... It's, it's been mainly due to the fact that the villain has only really been revealed in the, fi in the penultimate episode here for this. Which was a real, real shame that they have decided up until now to actually reveal the villain. Now, we knew that it was Malice. We knew that it was played by John Noble. But we never actually really got to see a good look at him until now. And Damien Dark's whole motive for turning good was so that he could save Nora. And I'm really hoping that we finally see the end of Damien Dark. Now, I like the, I like Damien Dark. He's a great character. But I really want Sarah Lance to have closure and for her to actually destroy Damien Dark finally and have that showdown and end this storyline once and for good so we don't have Damien Dark again 
in the next season because I feel like his story now, once Nora is done and dusted, that is it. That is it for Damien Dark. And like I said, it's been a very fragmented. We've had all the totems. We've had Nora and Damien. And it just feels a bit kind of everywhere. It feels a bit scattergun this season. But then again, Legends of Tomorrow has always felt a bit scattergun in its approach because it's such a big cast and there's so many storylines that they want to get and have on the show. So Nora has turned into Mullis. Not sure if she's completely gone, but that is it for her to be honest, and that is done and dusted. Now they need to stop her with or hit thing and send it back. Now it does very much look like a demon, like Etrigan the demon, and things like that, which would be pretty cool if it turned out to be that that was actually Etrigan the demon properly. But they do need to use all the totems to send Malus back to whence he came. Now, not sure how Amaya will do it. I expect Vixen or one of the Vixens will actually sacrifice themselves and that is that but really I hope to see an end to this Vixen storyline because she has to go back to her own time and that is the it for Nate and her romance which is a pretty cool storyline I really did enjoy the fact that this this storyline was in this season however that is it for this video one thing actually before I go is the fact that we never got to see a really cool backstory as to why Ava's was used by Rip is simply just the fact that she's like they've gone through so many clones and he can just use her as to be expendable which is weird considering the fact that she's now decided to actually side with the time bureau against and it's just a bit odd that still and the whole Ava mystery was a complete waste of time completely pointless however like I said, that is it for this video. And next week we will be there with the finale. And I will be doing a video on that as well. As I expect some deaths to happen. And I expect Malus to finally be put back where he came. And hopefully we'll learn the backstory of Malus. And learn why he's so evil. And where he actually came from. Because really we need to do that. And I hoped that we would see more of that this episode. However, I'll see you soon. Goodbye.